So there's a guy at Cast who I greatly admire uh, in the depths of Toronto. His name's Peter, and he creates the library fixtures for the library. Now, uh, the library is the subject of this lesson. I'm going to take you through what the library is, how you access it, and we can have a look at the enormous range of fixtures that are available to you in there. Now, it's very important as users that we constantly feed back to, uh, to WYSIWYG and Cast software what fixtures are, are missing, what, what, you know, what works, what doesn't work, uh, particularly when new products come out. If um, I'm working on a West End show, they tend to be some of the first people to use new products. And we create the WYSIWYG files and we'll check them to make sure that they pan in the same direction as WYSIWYG as they do in real life. And if they don't, we feed that back. Uh, they're always very accurate, but particularly in new lights, it's very good to, to have a check, make sure that they're working correctly. Uh, and WYSIWYG really appreciate having that feedback backwards and forwards with their users. Uh, the library also has an enormous collection of objects and people and uh, furniture, standard objects you see in theatre all the day, you know, all the time, so you can, uh, you can build almost anything using the library. So we're going to have a good look at that and find out where all the bits are and how it fits together. Okay, so lesson seven, the user interface, the library browser. So the library browser is here on the right. Uh, if you can't see it, it might be hidden underneath the layer database. So have a look at the tabs at the bottom. If you still can't see it, you just click this button here for library, or you can click the fixture library, take you to the same, same window. Um, if you can't see any of these, just go to the toolbar uh, tool by right clicking in the, uh, the blank area and click on draw, that will open and close that window. So, the idea of the library browser is that there are different selections of library items. So, at the moment, we're just in the generic library, so there's selections of uh, all sorts of odd things that might uh, be part of an event or a, or a production. Um, in objects, like furniture, tables. Uh, there are quite a lot of things that might be involved in events because of the Vivian package, which is a sister product to, to WYSIWYG, which has all the same furniture library. So uh, that's quite extensive. But you know, generally, anything you might want could be in here, or you might find something generic, which you, know, you could use. Um, to, to, to simulate something else. The most important one is probably the people. You've got standard mannequins. So uh, you've got a mannequin here, someone walking, or you might have a mannequin musical instrument if you're doing a, a band or a concert or orchestra or something. So you can start to position those around your stage. You've got something to light. Uh, you've got different generations of people as well. I tend to use these ones quite a lot because they're, they're quite nice looking. Uh, businessman standing, businessman two. So that's quite a ge generic. Uh, looking person and the idea is you double click on the item and then you can place it in your window and you keep clicking until you place them all and then you you right click and go finish library item when you finish with it or you can hit the escape key and you've also got your fixture library in here fixtures are listed by manufacturer or by type so type you know you might choose a conventional and then you might find a ERS which is I think Canadian for Source for <laughs> somewhere in there. I don't quite know what why they had to call it ERS rather than spot. Um, but let's take a 26 degree and oh, there's a minuet 26 degree profile. So if you know exactly which fixture you want, you'd probably rather go manufacturer. This tends to be how I work. I'll look for ETC and choose an ERS CE source for. There you go. And I'll double click on that and I'll go to place it. And I can't, and I'm going to tell you why later. We're not going to do that quite yet. Um, you've also got accessories. Exactly the same thing, you know, you type oh, Dowser, our HMI Dowser, for instance. Uh, you've got trusses, so you can choose truss by, uh, by type of manufacturer again. So there's quite a lot of different manufacturers of truss. If you know exactly what truss you're using, if not, you can just try and find something rather generic, just go via the, uh, the types. Now, in my opinion, I, I don't actually use trusses for hanging lights, that's just way I work. There's a few reasons for that. Uh, the main one is that if I hang a light on a truss, I can't easily set the height. Um, I'll demonstrate this a bit later, but the idea of drawing a pipe, you can go to the properties window and set the, the height of it, which is it's very definitive. You can say 6.8254 meters, and that is exactly where it's going to go. With a truss, you have to drag it up and down in the window. Um, and it doesn't always work they're trying to connect trusses together um, again, we're going to talk about building trusses later but you know, if I was trying to like join two pieces of truss together you want to try and snap them together it's, it's quite hard there's no 
easy trust tool. No. Turn that on, and then it tries to click to each other. Anyway, it doesn't really work very well. Not for me. Maybe it works for you. Um, I tend to draw a pipe, um, so you get a section. You draw that, and there's a better way of doing pipes. We'll, we'll cover that later. But I've drawn a pipe now, um, and I can hang lights on that. If I need to see a truss, what I then do is take a, a section of truss. Uh, let's take. beam no it's go triangular and I mean, it still goes still goes to manufacturer so a section I've no idea what this is this is how it's so complicated you have to know exactly what it is you're going for there you are. that's almost exactly what I need I'll put a bit of truss in over the top so the truss looks like it's there but it's actually hanging on the pipe underneath um, so I'll turn this truss off in a layer and then turn it back on again and set it at the same height as the pipe so that way it looks like it's hanging on a truss but I get all the benefits of it being on a pipe um, but yeah, that's just me, and that's probably because I work more in theatre, we don't use trusses so much. Uh, if we do use a truss, it's, it's really just because it's more practical than a pipe, but what we're looking at is, is just one single hanging point. So We'll come to trusses and pipes later on. Your symbols. If you're doing just some standard symbols, I, you definitely don't need these because you, can, uh, you get the same symbols by putting the actual fixture in. Uh, you've got gobos, colours, gels, you know, lamps, lenses. I tend not to use these so much myself. Um, I'll select these uh, using either the fixture, uh, the, the quick, quick reference toolbar over here, or maybe by selecting it in the light itself, which I'll talk about later. The main ones I use is, is fixtures and the library. So that is the uh, library browser.